So I feel like there's, you know, arguments and bickering potentially happening around you here with the five of um, wands. And this is like, you know, small scale, petty arguments, uh, who's right and who's wrong. And it's um, argument and, and some type of like things stirring up between people. And I feel like, you know, you're over here with the temperance card, minding your own business, trying to, you know, take care of your things, trying not to get swept along with the tides or, or get emotionally riled up. And yet with this conflict happening around you, potentially with family members, coworkers, subordinates even, um, I'm, I'm hearing the word petty. So I feel like these are like petty arguments that in the greater scheme of things don't really matter and don't really have, you know, any long term ramifications. But for the month of March, I feel like people are, are bringing these things to your doorstep and they potentially want your your sense of judgment. They want your uh, your ability to see things in a very impartial manner. And they want your unbiased assessment of the situation. And they want you to, you know, potentially get involved in it and see who's right and who's wrong, being the judge, and kind of, you know, help them make sense of it. But I do feel that the, the situation itself, like I said, in the greater scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. But in this situation, I feel like for these people, it matters a great deal. And so they might, you know, pull you in with them. Okay. So needless to say that uh, what we can do in, in these situation is to let people kind of like, you know, uh, fight their own battles, to let people, t um, to, to let people come to conclusions on their own and to, you know, remove yourself from conflict. If it doesn't really involve you or it doesn't really um, add to your life in a positive way in any, in any capacity, I do feel it might be best for you to try to skirt these issues. Okay. On the other hand, um, I do feel a potential reconciliation here. Okay. So I have here an, uh, a fire sign, potentially a Sagittarius person. The person is shown up here as the nine of wands. And fire energy with the wand suit. This is Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. And I'm seeing a very, very strong Sagittarius person. Um, either way, there might have been some type of a conflict, disagreement, misunderstanding, or like um, I'm hearing somebody saying like you're undermining, you know, the situation, or you are. Um, like neglecting the situation or you are potentially neglecting, you know, this person. So I feel like somebody is operating from a space where they feel neglected, where they feel like you didn't care, where they feel like you didn't make yourself available. Um, for whatever reason, they just feel like, you know, there's a little bit of a sense of neglect. And I'm sensing that this person is uh, a little bit defensive. Okay. This is somebody who has been through a battle. Okay. And he or she is uh, gearing up like they, they don't believe that it's over. They don't believe that it's done and over with. They don't believe that, you know, it's safe now. They can sleep at night. They don't have to, you know, sleep with one eye open and with the sword under their their pillow or whatever. Or, you know, they're they're so used to, you know, battling it out. They're so used to living in this space of, you know, constant adrenaline rush. And they can't really find any type of peace in their own life. And I feel like there might have been some misunderstandings or some type of uh, conflict or, or whatever it is between the two of you. The energy is not completely smooth. And so I feel like there is communication coming in between you and this person. And I feel like for many of you, potentially this is coming, like you're initiating the conversation. You're reaching out, you're trying to, you know, smooth things over. And I do feel that this person is a little bit more on the defensive end. And when we're dealing with someone who's a little bit more on the defensive end, it's really important to be clear with our intention. So for example, if you're reaching out to this person, you know, you can, uh, you can't just drop them a line because they're going to read so much subtext into what you're, you're saying. They're going to read between the lines. They're going to mull it over. They're going to, uh, pick out and pinpoint, like imagine slights. They're going to twist your words out of context. So it's very, very important to state your intentions clearly. So I feel like for many of you, um, one of the, the ways in which you're communicating to this person, you might be like, 
hey, I haven't heard from you in a long time. Is everything okay? Or, hey, I haven't heard from you. Um, sorry about last time. How are you doing? So I feel like, you know, being very crystal clear with your intentions, being, um, and also, you know, being a little bit soft with your words, but also putting it out there that, hey, I'm concerned about you. I'm reaching out because I'm a little bit concerned. And I feel like this will allow the two of you to kind of, you know, communicate again, um, to kind of hash things out, to kind of like, um, I, I, I guess like bring things out in the open so that you can talk about things, so that you can clear up confusion, so that you can clear up misunderstandings, and so that you can kind of like repair this relationship, okay? I feel for many of you, um, I feel like this is a relationship that for whatever reason never got off the ground. Okay. And then I'm also feeling like you're dealing with someone who has been hurt many, 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 many times before. And so the way their energy shows up with this card, once again, is um, it's somebody that needs a grand gesture. Okay. They, they, it, it's, I'm hearing like talk is cheap or words are useless, I want to see some action. So they're very, very action oriented. And I feel that in order them for them to trust the intentions of another person, they don't want the words, they don't want the talk, they don't want, you know, promises, they want actions, they want visible, tangible results. And they do want you to come in with some type of a grand gesture if you want to make amends, if you want to clear the air, if you want to make an offer. So I do feel here that there's a, this, this sense of like, you know, uh, having an opportunity here, like a, a do over in order to repair a situation with another person. I do feel at one point, we have here the page of cups and the six of swords. And um, at one point, there has been a very, very strong emotional connection between the two of you. The Page of Cups is about friendship. It's about, you know, like um, really liking another person, okay? Liking them for who they are. It indicates to me innocence. It indicates to me like a, a situation where, you know, between children, uh, they forgive and forget, okay? I'm looking at the kids here in this, um, riding this one. It's like, People forgive and forget, okay? They don't hold grudges. They don't hold on to, um, they, they don't hold on to, you know, they don't hold gripes. They don't hold on to bad feelings and negative feelings for a very long time. They forgive and, and forget. And in the greater scheme of things, they understand that, you know, um, it's all about friendship and, and like camaraderie. So what I feel here is for some of you, uh, this person might have been like a really dear friend of yours at one point or like a very close confidant and um, you guys share a lot of, you know, stories, a lot of secrets, a lot of, um, it's somebody that you can really, if you've had a bad day, you can vent with them, you can vent to them and you trust that whatever you tell them, they're not going to relay this information and tell another person. And so... I feel that the relationship at one point was very mutual. You're able to confide in them. They're able to confide in you. And so to me, it seems like there is a very strong emotional connection. There's a great sense of trust between two people. And for whatever reason, this situation uh, went south. So I feel like it might have been misunderstanding. It might have been lack of communication. It might have just been like... Um, um, you guys might be at a distance from one another. And so you're hearing things through the grapevines. And I feel like it, it created like, um, it just created a situation where it was ripe for misunderstandings. Okay. And so the month of March is a really good time to clear up these, these misunderstandings, to clear up these, uh, channels of communication so that we communicate and say exactly what we mean when we're trying to, you know, uh, reach out and, and achieve like some type of um, mutual understanding or a connection with another person. So I feel like you have an opportunity here, a do-over, a second chance, and an opportunity to make things right and to uh, clear the air and to, you know, 
uh, repair some type of a relationship between you and another person. I just want you to know that, that I feel like they are a little bit um, defensive. And then I also feel like this situation, whatever it was, um, affected them a lot more than it affected you, okay? They see you as this, the Six of Swords. They potentially might have uh, had a inkling that you've moved on. They might have felt like, oh, you would never come back. They might have felt like you would never uh, initiate contact with them. But I do sense that when the uh, communication comes in, it's going to be very unexpected. They're caught off guard. It's very unexpected from their end. They're looking for battle. They're looking for a fight or they're uh, anticipating some type of conflict. But what's coming through is a very heartfelt message, communication that comes from the heart, an offer of love, an offer of friendship here with the Page of Cups. And so it's coming in in a very unexpected way, okay? So in the past, there might have been a lot of uh, ups and downs between the two of you. And I feel like it's all geared towards like miscommunication, okay? And the two of you could, and what I'm seeing is, um, you know, Libras, you're, you know, seen as the sign that's very, very diplomatic, okay? The things that you say. Uh, the way in which you say things as well. I, I, I feel that, you know, you aim on the side of like being very, being very either politically correct, being very, um, taking into account both sides of the story. So you, you err for the middle ground, okay? You're not very extreme when it comes to expressing your opinions, but I feel like this person is very opinionated. And when they feel something, when they're upset, they're going to voice their, their anger. If they're, uh, they believe in a specific, you know, ideology, a specific course of action, they're going to be very passionate about, you know, um, sh shouting out from the rooftop, whatever it is they feel. And so I'm sensing that in the past, um, whenever this person feels any type of a way, and they feel for you, I, I do sense that this situation affected them a lot more than it affected you. They feel for you, and I feel like the way the, in which they express their feelings, um, it might have been full of anger. They, they might have felt like, you know, you, you didn't care for me. You didn't, uh, you, you didn't worry about me. You didn't even check on how I was doing. You abandoned me. That, those are the words that I'm hearing. And so it's very like the, 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 the anger is really on the surface with this person, but I feel like they're speaking from a place of hurt. They don't really mean it, but they're going to voice it. And so every time they go into this, you know, rage mode, I feel that you might have retreated. You didn't know what to do. I feel like it also stirs up uncomfortable feelings for you and within you. And as a result of it, um, it was just easier to step away from this person, wait for them to cool down before you come back. And then in the process of, you know, stepping away, waiting for them to cool down, I feel like they then felt a little bit abandoned. And so they retreat deeper or uh, further and further and further away. And then before you know it, there's this um, emotional rift between you and this person. And I feel that the month of March is a good time to repair the rift. It's a good time to, you know, um, make amends, okay? And we're sailing away here from troubled waters, okay? This is like moving away from a very, very turbulent, turbulent uh, state of being, choppy waters, um, high rising waves, okay? A really, str I I'm, I'm getting that image again. Um, the, the men are out to sea. They've got things to do. They've got things to catch. You know, that's their haul for the entire day. And yet they're not only fighting with the sea creatures, the things that they're catching, they're fighting the elements, they're fighting these waves. And the waves can feel very overwhelming because, you know, they're like rising tall above the sail and the mast and above the ship. But it's, it's a situation where it's not real, like it's not going to hurt you. The waves didn't crash down on the deck. It crashed before and it brings the ship back up. Okay. So I, I feel like it's a situation where it's not comfortable to be in. It's stretching your emotional muscles in a way that 
is important for an air sign, okay? And so I feel like this is a situation that re uh, requires the both of you to kind of like let down your walls and to kind of approach each other in the spirit of, you know, friendship, camaraderie, and really thinking about one another in a way where it's like, let's make amends, let's uh, solve this situation, let's mend that emotional rift, and let's try to understand one another. 